Welcome to another video. Did I steal that from someone's channel? <laughs> Hello, in today's video on David Attempts, we're going to be watching... That's my automatic cat feeder. <laughs> that is my automatic. That is my automatic pet food feeder. Hello everyone. Today on my channel, David Attempts, this video is going to be dedicated to me watching The Last of Us on HBO Max. I don't know anything, which is weird because I feel like now we're in such a spoiler heavy world, especially with social media. So I'm actually really excited to go into something completely blind. Now I'm really excited for this because my roommate has been begging me for years to play this game on the PlayStation. And that is a goal. That's actually why I bought this hat years ago to play the game. Why I haven't done it, I don't know. Should I? Leave comments below. I love recommendations, but if The Last of Us is a game I need to play, let me know. One, I'm not a gamer at all. Love Pokemon, love Digimon, as you see behind me. That's my limit. I love Mario Party, love a little Smash Brothers. <sighs> Mario Kart on a good day, but The Last of Us, intimidating but I know it could make some, for some great content. I barely know how to operate a PlayStation controller. If the outrage is there and you're like, David, you got to attempt to play this video game, then I'm all down for it. So if you're watching this and you want to see more, please let me know. Like, subscribe, and share. All right, are we ready to get into this? I am, <laughs> I am so excited and also nervous and um, I love anything horror related. I think this is horror-ish or adjacent or something. That's why I wore the really cute beret with the skull. Side note, I have no idea how to wear a beret. I think I look something like either the Muffin Man or a baker. Um, I do not want to upset the French, but please let me know if this is how you wear a beret or not. Yes, I'm talking to you, Pierre. Now where am I here? And you could have did yeah, it. See, so I, I did it. You never I apologize. Did it. Are we ready to get into this? I'm so nervous. <laughs> First, LaCroix that I stole from my roommate. It's fine. She probably owes me at least 45 by now. Shade! The Last of Us. It says... This is called When You're Lost in the Darkness. After a global pandemic, whew, too soon, destroys civilization, a hardened survivor takes charge of a 14-year-old girl who may be humanities. Humanities? Humanities. <laughs> Apollo. I haven't even got to watch this yet. And my cat's acting up. No, nope. I'm putting it on the table. He's not getting it. If you hear him running around, that's just bonus content. You're welcome. <laughs> After a global pandemic destroys civilization, a hardened survivor takes charge of a 14 year old girl who may be humanity's last hope. Bum, bum, bum. I'm not for sure if this involves zombies or not, um, I don't really find zombies scary, but I do love all things horror. I actually do. And, uh, Dr. Newman, you're also an epidemiologist. I presume the prospect of a viral pandemic keeps you up at night as well. No. No? No. All right, well, that's our show. <laughs> to be clear, you, you do think microorganisms pose a threat? Oh, in the most dire terms. Bacteria? No. You like saying no? Yes. <laughs> not bacteria, not viruses, so fungus. But fungi can alter our very minds. It's like the fungus that makes the ant go crazy or whatever into a zombie or something. Dr. Schoen heist you're in distress. Fungal infection of this kind is real, but not in humans. Foreshadowing. Billions of us. 
billions of puppets with poisoned minds permanently fixed on one unifying goal to spread the infection to every last human alive by any means necessary. And there are no treatments for this, no preventatives, no cures. They don't exist. It's not even possible to make them. That is really smart writing because essentially what they've done is take away the power that the haters, especially online, have to discredit the story. So it's easy to be like, oh, The Last of Us can't exist because there could be a cure. Immediately, within three minutes and seven seconds, shut down. There's no cure. There's no preventative. There's nothing. Love Pedro Pascal. Done so dirty in Game of Thrones. You know what? HBO, their intro music is always hitting. Ooh, this is a bop. Ooh, don't like this intro. Wow, independent woman. Daddy needs his juice, and I need daddy's juice. Jakarta. Where is that, Middle East? It's Indonesia. Right. It's capital of Indonesia. Shit. Home for us yet? The Jakarta news story was really smart writing, too. It's a subtle way to let us know that something's not right. Your t-shirt's inside out. Take it off! Earl, not you stealing money. You better not hurt yourself. Oh, hi. No one says hi to their neighbors. It's uh, you know what? We gotta run, but Sarah will be by later. She'll stay as long as you want. I'll tell you all about Atkins. I love their relationship. smart writing again. They're telling us everything without actually telling us. I love when a show or a movie treats its audience as intelligent because we are. Is she trying to find her mom? That's kind of cliche though. Oh, I want one of those cat clocks. Hey, is everything okay? Like, on the news? Like what, huh? Well, no, there was just a lot of police and stuff on the road today. Well, that's true every day, isn't it? People out there need to get right with Jesus. Three nails plus one cross equals four given. Maybe it's my religious trauma speaking, but I hate that woman. I keep thinking her shirt has Taylor Swift on it from Reputation Era, and I'm like, no, David, it's 2004. She is like 12 years old in Pennsylvania. That old woman is as vegetables as squash. Oh god, she's moving. Oh girl. I don't like that. She's twitching. She's got her mouth open. Oh no, 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 no. Oof, I just got chills. Animals always know. I like these shots. I always wonder where they film these scenes because it feels like a real neighborhood, but there's no way they're filming inside the house. So I guess they just do outside shots of the house. That seems so cumbersome. You don't get your present. You have your present. Swear. Oh my love. Fix it for you. Nokia, throwback. That will survive the zombie apocalypse before any of us. It's what he deserves. Let him sit. He doesn't have money for this. I hate deadbeat losers like that, that never uh, take responsibility. It's always someone else's fault. I hope this zombie apocalypse thing doesn't happen while he's gone, because then they're going to be separated. Dad? Turn on a light. Did Grandma eat everyone? Mercy! Gotta go fast! Gotta go fast! Always listen to the animals. They got instincts. Mrs. Adler? 
Girl, mind your business. Mrs. Adler? Oh, no. You better run. Come on, Nana. Get the truck right now. Oh, he better he better wrench Nana right. Oh, Shoot that bitch. She's gonna retract together and pop back up. You all run. We ain't got time for hugs and kisses. Of course they have a pickup truck that gets seven miles to the gallon. Everyone makes fun of a cute little hybrid until you're getting 40 miles to the gallon. You better run them over. Bye. Sorry, it's real now. Ooh, context clues. We're in Texas. That's all the signs said Austin. It's Jimmy's place. We don't know Jimmy. The others will take Nana into the city. To the hospital for stuff. You'd have to go a lot. Right. We're fine, trust me. She went into the city to get that watch fixed. What are you doing? We got a kid. So no, you better drive right past them. Sorry. No. No, 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 no. Sorry. This is a zombie apocalypse. We don't play nice anymore. We're trying to live. Ooh, off-roading. I feel like I'm back in Kentucky. Oh my god. I can't imagine the chaos happening on airplanes. Oh, it's gonna crash. It's gonna crash. That's smart. That's smart. Don't give her trauma any more than she already has. You better close your eyes, lady. Uh, can you run? No. It's dumb. You can't get an injury in a zombie apocalypse and not die. Sorry, you broke your ankle, girl. She's gotta go. I don't have time for that. No, no, no. Stop looking and smelling the fucking roses! Of course she dies. Of course. Wow, you're so original, The Last of Us. Wow, you killed a character you got us invested in. Um, ciao. Anyway, so... Okay, I like this time jump. Boston. How about Dorchester? Packed it. Foxborough. Packed it. The Garden? Packed it. Saugus? Packed it. Swampscott? Revere? The Harbor? What is it with Boston and post-apocalyptic settings? First The Handmaid's Tale, and now this? She ain't good for nothing, is she? It's red. They're gonna have to... There's gonna be a scene of her throwing her body into the fire. There are worse things than infected out there. I hear everything on this. There are raiders. There are slavers. Are you sure Tommy's okay? Good foreshadowing. Raiders and slavers. He missed his day of work at the outhouses. The effects are really good. Is that a bomb? It talk it through but please remember that i'm bleeding out i love that she's not an npc the radio is a smuggling code right 60s song they don't have anything new 70s they got new stuff what's 80s oh and he was warned not to go out You did this to me. You told Coach Devester about my summer surgery. No! I'm not sick! I'm not sick! Look! Look! This is three weeks old. Nobody lasts more than a day. We gotta move, Joe! 
At least take his weapon. Does that mean trouble? Is that an 80s song? Yeah, it is. Definitely sounds like an 80s song. Awesome! I really enjoyed the first episode. Initial thoughts? I love that it's like mushroom zombies. That's new, that's exciting, and super cool and visual. That gives the special effects team like so much cool shit to work with. The special effects team should just have a field day with this because that's so cool. I'm very excited to see where this goes. It's like horror, thriller, action, and I love all of those melded together. Everyone's got so much personality and they've all got motivations and they're all intelligent. Like you really understand how this world works just through the characters and their motivations. And I really want to like figure out all of these loose threads. They did something really intelligent with leaving a few things open-ended, but in a smart way because they're going to answer them later. It keeps you, the audience, guessing and wondering what's going to happen. What did the little girl learn? That is her like special ability or something like she's somehow immune. Like I'm so curious on if they're gonna like figure out a cure or something. I know the guy in the beginning said there's not a cure, but I mean, because I don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, does anyone really know how mushrooms work? It's so like, out. I wouldn't say out there, but it's like, it's not common knowledge. So it is very intriguing and exciting. And I can't wait to see what happens next.